Well, first of all, it's great to be in the UAE, and we appreciate enormously all of the contributions that the UAE is making to this process and their leadership. Um, we hope very much that, that, that COP27 will provide additional ambition for reducing emissions uh, and that it will see countries come together in the ways that we can combine reducing emissions with good policy in terms of growing economies and having a smooth transition. The, the, the U.S. and the UAE are cooperating on a number of initiatives, uh, and we've had a real partnership on this whole issue of uh, the climate crisis. But the UAE has been co-sponsoring with us uh, an agriculture initiative, so that together we're working on helping other countries to be able to adjust to the drought, uh, to the challenges of extreme heat, uh, to building resilience in different crops. Uh, and there's a lot of work that uh, UAE has done on this, so it's a very helpful partnership, and we're very excited about some of the announcements we may be able to make in Sharm el-Sheikh. Well, I'm confident because the UAE has really been a leader in the climate sphere, which is one of the reasons that they were chosen to host the COP28. So I have a a anticipation that that year will be a very special year, different from this year, because the process is going to require that we evaluate where we are. So by definition, COP28 is going to be a very significant COP, and the UAE's leadership is going to be critical. I think that uh, the United States remains deeply committed to peace in the region, to development in the region. Uh, obviously, with Ukraine, Everybody's focus has been dragged to, to uh, Eastern Europe and to the war. Obviously, with COVID, everybody's attention has been dragged to health care and to delivery systems for vaccines and everything. And obviously, with the inflation that has hit us, uh, we see increase in prices, and so everybody's working on their economy. But I don't think there's any reason to believe that the United States is less somehow engaged or uh, involved. And, you know, President Biden has been to the region and Secretary Blinken has been out here and there have been meetings and we remain committed.